Hey Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. Keep in mind this message is for any Cancer placement you want to check in on, including any planet or astrological house that may be in Cancer. Whatever it is, you are welcome here. Keep in mind Cancers, if you enjoy the reading, leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future. Let's get into this first card here in the center. You got Celestite. Soothe your soul. All right. Hmm. All right, let's take a look at these next two cards. We have Neptune, the planet of dreams, imagination, um, spirituality, visions, memories, the subconscious, the veils, magic. And we also have the eighth house here, which is the house of investments, sex, intimacy, the occult, the underworld, mysterious things in life, inheritances, I should say that as well, taxes. All right, interesting. You guys could definitely be tapping into your third eye here this week, especially with Neptune and Celestite being present. Well, and the eighth house too. Maybe you guys have Neptune in the eighth house or potentially Neptune is currently moving through your eighth house. So take a look at where Neptune falls. It is currently retrograde in Pisces. So maybe you guys have Pisces in the eighth house. Um, or when you were born, Neptune happened to fall into your eighth house, whatever that would be for you. Doesn't have to be any of those, um, but just some suggestions to potentially look into. I would definitely take a look at where Neptune and the eighth house are um, in your chart and anyways, even if they're not in the placements I mentioned earlier, just to get a feel for what could be going on in these areas of your life right now. Let's get into these last two cards and see what else I can get for you guys. We have Reclaim. All right. Interesting. What else? At the bottom of the deck, we have the universe. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, some of you guys could be... Hmm. Some of you guys could be tapping into some sort of healing or even a spiritual tradition that you guys have maybe abandoned. Maybe you guys have gotten out of touch with your spiritual practices. Okay, that's a potential. Some of you guys could also be envisioning or trying to attract some sort of investment Okay, hmm, what else? Some of you guys could also be reclaiming your body. I mean, let's face it, the eighth house is all about intimacy and sex. So this could be a reclaiming of your bodily autonomy. Okay, doing something in that manner as well. Could be a number of things, honestly. Let's get into the tarot and see what it is you guys need to know. Spiritual team. Disney Villains Tarot, what messages do you have for the Cancer Collective for the next seven days? What messages do you have for the Cancer Collective for the next seven days? All right, let's see what we got here. Seven of Cups reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Temperance. Eight of Coins, at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Devil Reversed, Six of Swords Reversed, Six of Wands. Ooh, okay. So I definitely see you guys trying to hmm, bring back into balance something that may have been lost recently or you feel like you kind of lost yourself to something in particular um for a lot of you you may be redefining what intimacy and sex looks like to you okay maybe taking your power back in some way there with the devil card in reverse temperance and the wheel of fortune in reverse it feels like <sighs> 
trigger warning, someone may have taken an aspect of that intimacy and used it for their own, their own needs. I'll put it like that. Okay, take what resonates. It's going to look different for everybody and not everybody is going to resonate with this message. Um, for some of you, there could also be some confusion surrounding an investment or something that you were tied to financially that ended up hurting you in a way. Okay, so maybe you got into a bad contract, a bad deal, a bad investment that ultimately left you very sad, confused, and frankly, probably upset and unsure of what to do. Um, mm -hmm. I see a lot of you guys putting in the work to clean up the mess, to right what was wronged, okay? Um, kind of redirect that wealth or that energy back to you, okay? Because it feels like someone definitely took more for themselves than they left for you or gave to you. Does that make sense? So this could be financially, this could have to do with intimacy. This could have to do with a lot of things. But those are the two that I'm associating with the most since, um, since the eighth house is here. I do see someone new coming in though that can potentially help you or an opportunity coming in that potentially can help you get free from this situation, okay? Again, this could be a relationship, this could be um, financial, could be health for all I know. Um, Take what resonates, apply what this message is resonating with you, okay? I'm just giving examples, but insert your own situation in place of the things I'm saying, like wealth or um, intimacy, okay? I definitely see, like I said earlier, you guys working through creating this more balanced situation than what it is that you have been in um, recently, again, whether that's redirecting things, restructuring things, um, just again, reclaiming, taking back your power. Okay. Um, and Spirit is saying that even though this new opportunity or person is coming into your life very, very soon, you're going to have trouble moving forward with that new opportunity or person until you've basically cleaned up what's left over from this mess before. I do, however, see success here um, in making that happen. I think as long as you clean up the mess first before moving forward, that's going to help you be successful in this new opportunity. For some of you, it feels like you are tapping into maybe some more magical aspect of yourself, okay, that's helping you get through this and helping you clean it up faster. Um, and I see that here with the universe as well. You're tapping into that universal energy, tapping into your magic um, and the magic of the universe inside yourself with Neptune here. You're tapping into that, which is allowing you to progress and work through this mess faster. For a lot of you, I feel like this has more to do with intimacy and potentially a past relationship um, than anything else, honestly. It feels like, and this Knight of Cups could be the old person, it could be the new person, but it feels like a lot of you have some healing and letting go to do of a past situation before you can move forward to something new. Does that make sense? All right, Cancers, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the last deck of the reading. I'm using the African Goddess Rising Oracle this month, spiritual team. What final messages do you have for the Cancer Collective for the next seven days? What final messages do you have for the Cancer Collective for the next seven days? Okay. The card that flipped over we have is Set. Surrender. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, surrender to the change. Surrender to the power that you have. Um, in creating this change, surrender to what it feels like your soul needs um, and act on it. Don't be afraid to act on it, I guess is what I would say the most. Um, that way you can create that balance of power again and redirect it back to yourself. We have Satira, Brazen. Okay. Yeah, I would say that is the Six of Wands for sure. Um, not being afraid to do what needs to be done in order to achieve <laughs> the proper results, right? Um, also Six of Swords reversed is making sure that you are, again, cleaning up that mess and making sure that it stays where it needs to stay in the past. 
for those of you um, where this is a relationship situation, for those of you that, where this is a financial situation, um, boldly tipping the scales of justice here and taking back your power in that aspect. Reclaim it wholeheartedly and boldly. At the bottom of the deck, we have Queen Ya Asantoa, level up. And that is exactly what it is you are doing here ah, through your healing and taking your power back. That is exactly what is happening. And I even said that a lot of you guys have a new opportunity coming towards you, but unfortunately you gotta let go of the past in order for you to move forward, um, which is gonna take some healing and some deep, deep <laughs> looks at everything that's happened so far. It may be painful, but it will be worth it in the end. All right, Cancers, that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. If you want to see more content from me, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, I have a blog, all that info on where to find me is below in the description box, as is my website if you want to schedule a personal reading with me. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!